In this lesson, I'm going to explain how the DJ to go to mirrors the interface found on the Serato DJ Lite software. Let's go. All right, so as I mentioned earlier in the course, the DJ to go to is a two channel controller, left tech and right tech. So this is basically a mirror of what you'd find on the Serato DJ Lite software. The left deck, deck number one on the DJ to go to, is like the left deck in Serato DJ Lite. And deck on the right is like uh, the right deck in Serato DJ Lite. Let me show you what I mean. Now here I've got some music on the decks. Don't worry about how to do that for now. I'll be showing you how to do it yourself soon enough. If I touch the jog wheel over here on the DJ to go to, you can see that the left deck in Serato DJ Lite is the one that moves and responds to my touch. Same thing if I do it with the right jog wheel. The right deck in Serato DJ Lite is the one that responds. And that goes for all of the other commands here as well as uh, the controls here. If I press play, the track on the right is what's going to be playing. And if I press stop, or pause, it's gonna stop playing. If I move uh, the other controls here, like the pitch fader, you can find that the pitch over in the right deck is the one that's moving. And if I move the pitch here, the pitch on the left deck is the one that's moving. So it's easier to think of the DJ to go to controller and the Serato DJ Lite interface as just having two decks, one on the left and one on the right. It just makes it a lot less daunting, especially if this is your first time looking at a piece of DJ software and even working with a DJ controller such as this. I just showed you how the DJ to go to mirrors the interface of Serato DJ Lite. I want you to get familiar with the way that the controller and the software relate to each other. Watch this lesson again if you have to, because in the next few lessons, we're going to start digging deeper into Serato DJ Lite. I'll see you then.